installed Magic Lantern 2.3 on my Canon 550D. It's got a w wonderful options, one of which is white balance. Now I went out and shot some city stuff this morning and found that the camera was quite warm. As you can see here, white balance indicating a lot of red up there. So on the road it's all a bit yellow. So if we press the AV button, we bring up the uh, quick menu and you see in the middle push for white balance I push the set button and it takes a white balance from whatever feature is in the foreground I try to get the white roof or grey roof and now you can see the road is much better Next up we have a look at frames per second override for time lapse so instead of using your shutter count up um, with the shutter constantly going up and, down, up and down taking new photos you can simply remap the uh, frames recorded per second uh, into a video file. So I've wound it right down to three frames per second. And we pop into record mode and you can see that because it's saturating the sensor with more light we have to wind down the iris. So I'm just putting my finger on the AV button there and I'm taking down the aperture down to f22. Hit record and you can see it starts off dark as it picks up light and uh, eventually it records slow slurry flat frames and when you play them back of course you get a much faster playback it's very difficult to stand still for a while and record time lapse I'm not much of a tripod okay so here we go with playback and it's much quicker whoosh Now, I thought, what about we join two features together, frames per second override and ISO reduction. That is to reduce the um, brightness of the image where there are overexposed regions like the sky. Now, there's actually a large wheel here to ride on, but you can't see it because it's overexposed. So we'll wind the, wind the aperture right down to F22, and now we'll go into the exposure men menu press ISO with the Q button and we'll go down to the digital Magic Lantern digital ISO so we take out some ISO, um, EV values down to minus 2 which gives us ISO 25 in equivalent terms go back out to the sensor the live view display and now you can see on the histogram there is a little bit of red over on the side there and that that turns out pink on the um, file the resulting file we just skip through the uh, playback there so I didn't have to bore you to tears with my handheld time lapse. As I say, the, the little pink area there turns out uh, pink highlights on playback, which I've corrected for in this video. Okay, then I thought, well, what else can I do? I'll try doing a time lapse walk, so here we go. Well, one thing I learned, I'm definitely not a steady cam. Alright, so we'll stop it there and we'll play it back and see what the file looks like. Oh, 